Welcome to I Love Stocks. I'm going to talk about a few tickers that we're going to be watching tomorrow. And also, um, I think that's it. I only got like about seven of them, and we'll go through them real fast here. WEI, Microsoft, Tesla, Twitter, EXAS, ETSY, and CROX. Ain't that a bunch of crocs? So let's go straight to the charts. Please subscribe, ring that bell, and hit that notification button so you can get our future updates. Let's go right into the stocks. We're going to pull up, let me pull up the, the SMAs right now. We had a nice little breakout on this last week. I'm watching it pull back, kind of curl up a little bit, and we kind of had another little bounce. I think it still can pull back to like this 149 area if it wanted to, but for right now, the first support is going to be here right around 195. Let's bring one right down. Let's do one right down here for a strong buy at 160. 195, 227, resistance is to break. It's going to be at 263 and 316. Now on we, one of the reasons why these are starting to move up is that in September, the uh, Chinese industrial profits rose 10.1% in September which is allowing some of these, you know, industrial stocks to start running. The next one we're going to talk about is going to be Microsoft. Microsoft After Hours had earnings. They were pretty good. Microsoft's earnings easily top expectations as cloud video games continue to shine during the pandemic. So we're going to be bullish on this trade. We called it out in the room. We had a nice little pullback there on uh, yesterday within three black crows. Had the reversal here. Uno dos tres, and we had the the, the hammer. Um, you could call that a hanging man. I kind of compare them both. We did bounce up and created a new resistance level. So let's see what we're going to do here. We know the earnings were good, and we're going to try to find the support level. I'm taking low support down here, right around the 212, and maybe this 211.74. We got a resistance to break, and that's going to be right here at 216. So in between that resistance, there's going to be a little pivot point, and we're going to chalk it there at 215.17. That needs to break, then we can get back up here to 217.81. But I'm bullish on Microsoft. Always remember, we've got a few more days until the election, so just play one trade at a time. Don't get caught up and start buying a bunch of trades today. We're still volatile. And next one we're going to talk about is going to be Tesla. Tesla, I'm going to pull up the yearly chart. I've kind of got a game plan on how I want to play this one here. We have a pennant flag on the yearly. I think she's going to bust out after election, break right around that 455 area, and bring it back to 500. But we are going to have a breakout, and I think it's going to happen right after the election. And that's going to be Tesla. Twitter. Twitter, they got a target to 58. I'm going to clean this up. Remove all this fungus among us. This is Twitter. She likes bouncing off that 50. I don't know if it's going to get that low. We're going to put a trend line for support right here. I like this area right here for support level at 48.30. Oh, wrong. We got to get it right. Uh, remove drawing. Right there at 48.26. Another support level right here at 48.92. Another one right here at 49.48. And I'm thinking resistance levels to break at 50.46. And I'm going to chalk this one in here. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then we're going to go ahead and pull up the 20 day, one hour. Everything falls into place pretty good. So strong buy if it pulls back 40, 49 bucks. We'll turn that into a red line. Hit the OK. So that's gonna be your first support. Second 48, 49, 48. Let's do this all over again. First support at 5046. Second at 5003. Third at 49.48, strong buy at 48.95. We got a target on this up to 52, 
53, 54, and 55. Kind of play it. I think she likes to pull back a little bit. If she has a day of pullback, buy it on the dip. Support, strong buy at $49. Twitter. Next one is a good one that we called out today. EXAS. Now I played this spot on. I didn't get into the trade as it was going up. That I regret. But I did get into the trade and called it right at the top. Called a put. Let's go up to the one day. These are my 2019 extended trend lines. And these are just the ones I made today. So let's go ahead and pull up this one minute. I called an entry, uh, an entry level here. Once I seen that lower high for the pullback on this stock here. Now I had a call target set here at the 200 EMA and you can see it went on down farther. That was about a, almost a $500 contract. I got out with just 90 bucks. I got out way up in here at this level. I should have held for my call at the, at the pullback at the 200 EMA SMA. We did have a little cross right here. I thought it was way overdone. And then my pullback support was going to be here at 127.93, where we had that previous high, and we had that double triple top breakout. She did almost get there too. If you magnify this up a little bit, I mean we were just barely on there. This cattle of 128.61.62, and that support level is at 127.93. So I was about 70 cents off from the highs up here to bring it on down to this triple top breakout. That's EXAS. I'm going to be watching this tomorrow. I think it can pull back a little bit more, consolidate, and still needs to find a little bit of support level. And I'm going to call that right down here, right around 124 to 126.26. That's going to be my support channel. And let's go ahead and chalk that in. There it is. Got to think right in here 124 to 126 20 something right there that's going to be the first support 127.93 126 26 and then strong buy down here at 124 even resistance to break is going to be definitely my 200 sma at 133.80 and i think that'll be a pretty hard resistance if she does decide to go ahead and move on up there and I'm going to draw me a trend line there on this one too. This is AXS, AXAS. And what did I say that was? That was right up in here on top of this channel, 133.94. And that runs right into that 200. You see here where it consolidated. So that's going to be a hard resistance. Low support at 124. And I'll chase it back up and try to find me a resistance level up on the way up. Next one is Etsy. Etsy looked at, called this out in the trade, ran all the way up to 147.65. I'm bullish still on this trade. I think it can go up higher. I got targets. I got a target to reach at 150.12. If I can get there, might get a double top at 153.73. And that's Etsy. I'm bullish on it. Pullback support no lower than this 142.27. And that's where we, we found this place right in here. You notice we found that right there. Nice, nice breakout on this stock. We did break my resistance level. Called this out early in the morning. I said we're gonna go up, bam, we hit it. Crocs, last one, C-R-O-X. We had a, a new high here, let's pull up the yearly. Let's take this thing off, pull up the yearly. I'm gonna erase all these lines here. This goes back to 2019, they ain't gonna do me no good no more. We have a, a hard, see we had this double top, triple top breakout here at, at a 43.38. Another little consolidated area right in here. And then we've had another one right here on this engulfing candle. And she brings it up there to the, about 50, taking 52.54. We're gonna pull this up to the 20 day. We're looking for supports and resistance levels. I got one right here. And then I've got to try to find something in here. I found it right there. See that? Pennant flag, breakout, pennant flag, breakout. Let me see. I 
it's hard to see right there, but that is a pennant flag breakout. It probably looks a lot better on the daily. So, support level, 50, 51, 52, 54, and 53.77 with a resistance to break. And let's go ahead and pull up that yearly one more time. That's an all-time high. I think we can go higher, but I always look back for pullbacks. I don't know how the market condition is going to be tomorrow. Nancy's not agreeing with the White House. No stimulus money. I don't think they care about the sick. We want a deal. I mean, we're begging for a deal, but we just don't want to, you know, have a lot of pork in this bill. So that is Crocs. That is for I Love Stocks. Have a great day. Please subscribe. Ring that bell for future updates. And that's it.